So what do you think are maybe like the top three best practices for the regular user? I would say the number one, and this is a very broad question, so I'm going to get some very broad answers. I'm going to focus this one on fraud and not hacks, which is You might know this for sure to be able to confirm it, but as far as I'm aware, there's never been a time in the history of Bitcoin where if you just held on to it for four years, you weren't in profit. Yeah. (laughs) Don't get greedy. I mean, like people lose so much money to like these rugs or like the less sophisticated scams. And these happen all the time, but definitely in the bull markets, this cloud mining or this trader from Telegram or Twitter or whatever. Just hold on to your Bitcoin. Don't entrust your Bitcoin with somebody else. If you're going to entrust your Bitcoin with somebody else, make sure you have a damn good reason. You know, if you want to use a service, for example, like Celsius to get some interest, risk reward that. Don't put everything into there. At least they have gotten an audit, which is more than some of their competitors could say. So that would definitely be number one. Number two, follow instructions. I mean, again, if you're going to take all this time, there's these folks that's been hours every week discussing price and the next moonshot and you know what is 15 minutes to follow the instruction on setting up a hardware wallet right so proportionality within within time expenditure is a huge thing three you're really making me think hard on this because it's only three i would say focus on not making yourself a target right i mean like not everyone needs to know that you hold cryptocurrency or exactly what you hold or exactly what your exchange accounts are. Yeah, you know, don't blast that out there. You know, you, you don't need to flex about your cryptocurrency holdings. That's not to say again, like that's they're inviting criminals and to excuse criminal activity. That's not what I'm saying, but why make yourself a target at all? That's interesting. Yeah. Some other flexing how much they have, or some people are posting their Ethereum wallet address and all the giveaways on Twitter, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, those threads always make me cringe. And like, I've noticed like other folks, and this might be a good sign of the industry maturing even just a tiny bit compared to like 2017. But I see it now. And on the rare times I go on Twitter, people are calling it out. This is horrible for privacy. And it is. <laughs> 